Hey guys, it's me, Chocolate 96 and uh, this is going to be a vlog video. So, basically this vlog is going to involve some moving things. Basically, going to show you guys the hamsters. Um, you're not going to see Bugs today because Bugs has been in the new room because I did switch rooms and the new room is not done yet. So I don't want to show you guys any part of it until it is done. So I want it to be a surprise for you guys. So you just have to wait and see. And the video should be up like in a week or two. It's going to be a room tour of my new room. So since I did switch rooms, um, the hamsters did not come with me. The reason why is it would be way too hard to get this 100 gallon tank down into the basement. Second reason, I am in the basement, meaning it's going to be pretty chilly. And hamsters should not be... Um, in anything very cold, I want to keep the hamsters in a um, nice room that's going to have um, heat in it in the winter time so they don't freeze to death. <laughs> and so they're just going to stay up here. Now the room that I moved down to basically was my mom's old office that she never really used. It did become kind of a storage room for me to store all my old toys and things so it did become fairly messy because of that but that room is 10 times bigger than the one I'm in right now which is now my mom's office and so basically the move started um, with just me and my mom we moved everything well the move actually started with us cleaning out the office part we cleaned out everything almost we shredded so much paper I never want to see a shredder again that is how much shredding like there were like 10 bags of shredding the reason why we shredded things is because um, it's an office and it had like bills and things like that with information that um, we didn't want just going to the trash or something like that so we had to shred it and we shredded for like a week at least so after we did the shredding um, we did the moving on a day my dad wasn't home um, and just basically me and my mom moved we woke up at like six and we started the move at six and we like ended at three probably so we and we did not take any breaks we didn't even eat lunch i think i had a pizza pop and we moved everything up and down the stairs which i was very proud of ourselves because go girl power and then we basically finally got everything moved to where we wanted it we actually had to take my mom's desk from downstairs we had to take it apart and that thing weighed so much and we also had a craft um storage unit that thing weighs 500 pounds i kid you not we even took all the papers out all the drawers out and we took it upstairs brought it up into this room and it didn't fit so well it just did not look nice in here so we asked my dad we texted him and we had to move it back downstairs and we put it into an area in like the downstairs area so we moved that up and down and I'm so tired like my back hurts so much after that but the downstairs room is not quite finished uh, we moved everything into there and now we just need to do three things we need to paint all the walls and things like that um, my room is going to be a beach slash nautical themed room, so I'm very excited. So I'm just doing like little things like that. If you've seen on my Instagram, I posted a picture of a lamp that I redid, and I glued shells all around it. It looks super cool, so you should check that out. I didn't film it though, which sucks, but it was pretty easy. I just used some shells and a glue gun, and put it all together, and it equals a shell lamp. So it was pretty cool, and. So basically to finish the room downstairs, we basically just need to paint the walls. We need to put in some new lights. Or yeah, we need no, we need to install lights. There used to be lights in there, but they kind of the wiring got ruined or something and it just doesn't work or something like that. So right now there is just this lamp, one lamp in my room. Um, so until we can put the new lights in. And then the closet needs to be done. It was in wasn't a finished closet so there was like pipes and things um, sticking out so we drywalled the 
Okay guys, so um, my memory card just ran out of space, so I had to go run downstairs, wait for all the videos to get onto iPhoto, and then um, yeah, I kind of forgot what I was talking about. So yeah, I think I was talking about I had to, I think I said we have to finish the closet or something like that in my new room, but yeah, basically it should be done in a week, so I'm very excited, but the hamster cages are staying in here. They just moved to actually a different corner of the room. I'm going to see if I can show you guys. But if you guys may recognize those pictures there, this is where my bed used to be. And now the hamster's cages are here. So that's basically all I think I wanted to talk about. Um, for anybody wondering, Bugs is doing a lot better. And his ear did flop if you saw on my Instagram. I made a video and he did... His other ear is no longer standing up, which is very, very sad because that was such a cute little ear. But now he is definitely a Holland lop because both ears are lopped, I think, or flopped, lopped, flopped. So for the hamster cage, I just want to show you guys. This is basically going to be just hamsters you're going to see today. So on Petrie's cage, we added um, a background. Okay, that's what I'm going to show you guys. First, I'm going to show you guys the background. As you can see back there, it is a really natural kind of. I didn't want anything too bright or something like that. I just wanted something kind of plain but then girly because Petrie is a girl. So I got this kind of, it's made like a paper that you wrap packages kind of on. But it's, um, what kind? It's like brown paper and then... It has white flowers, and this is all on the back of the cage, so there's no way the hamster can like get at it and try and chew it. But yeah, this is um, kind of what it looks like. There's the scale that I weigh the hamsters and bunny, and um, right there is bedding. And then we have this um, power cord thing that's just on there. Don't worry, none of the pets can get at it. Um, the cup I've been using to tame Petrie with. Um, cleaning solution and then two baskets of chews and a dustpan. Then there's Pop Tarts cage and on top there's a hamster lamp and a upside down shelf. Don't know why it's sitting there. I'm assuming my mom put it there. And there's also some uh, packing tape that we use to put the backgrounds up. So now I'm going to show you guys where the hamster supplies goes now because it doesn't go in my room because that would make not really any sense. Um, it's a lot of work to have your hamster supplies in one room like in the basement and then the hamster cage is at the top so it's best to have it all in the same room so I can easily have access to it. So we have this really tall bookshelf. Um, this one was actually supposed to go beside the hamster cage but it's a little bit bigger than the other one so it doesn't fit. So um, this one's just over here. It's a little farther from the hamster cage but it's still perfectly fine so I'm just going to show you inside. I'm not going to give you quite a tour because I will do um, all my hamster supplies. Um, I'm not sure when, but I will do that video soon. But all of the hamster supplies now is in this cupboard. So it's kind of all jammed in here because I haven't really had time to really organize it because we just moved this stuff in here. So on the bottom down there we have the um, toys and stuff and then there's a treat thing right there. Uh, so that's like puzzle playgrounds. Those puzzle playgrounds should be in there. I don't know why. Um, there's a there's old Bugs' old hut. He no longer fits in it, sadly. He really loved that thing, though. So that is just in storage now. So there's like a whole bunch of um, things. Like there is a wheel. There's a wheel there. Little huts. Grass huts, I think. Lion hut. That thing. Tubes. There's like ten tubes all together there. Bowls are right there. Igloos are like right there, sand bath. Then we have the regular hamster food there and there. And then these are all treats. And then little bowls. And then I, th I have like books behind the wheel. So that's just everything. It's kind of all jammed together as much as possible because this is the only space my mom said I could have for the hamster supplies. So yeah guys, it's basically for this uh, vlog for July. Also, just want to say happy late, happy belated Canada Day for Canadians, and I think also happy belated Fourth of the Fourth of July for Americans. Because I think this video is going to be 
up after those days have passed. Also, our Canada Day, actually, it has rained so much here in Canada. Like, it's been four days of rain and our Canada Day had to be postponed. So we don't get fireworks until, like, I don't know, a couple of days. But at least they postponed it and didn't cancel it. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching this vlog. I hope it's not too long. Bye! Thank you.